through the presentations that were happening at Lane where you could review a textbook. And then, uh, so I decided that looked really cool and that was fun. And I went looking for a textbook related to transitioning colleges, students to college. And everything that I found was about transitioning 18 year olds to four year universities basically. And I teach non-traditional students and I couldn't find anything relevant to them. And in some of those textbooks that I did look at, they kind of referred to non-traditional students like they might be a, a foreign thing you might see in your class and they might be interesting and maybe you should talk to them kind of thing. It was sort of like a petting zoo feel to it. And so I was like, uh, I gotta do something about this. OER was very welcoming and uh, I applied for a grant and got it. And then I did my first book. So my original book is called A Different Road to College for Non-Traditional Students. Um, and I, I taught a class here that was called Everything You Want to Know About College Before You Start. And it was for non-traditional students who are transitioning from ABSE programs into college. And since it's an OER, it's free, anybody can read it. So that's how it got started. And it was specifically designed for my class. And the cool thing about OERs is that they're open, so that if somebody else wants to use it, they can. And so I didn't really worry about it being perfect because it was just designed for my class and what I needed. And it turned out to get quite a few reviews when it was actually published and people liked it. And so it just grew from there. Well, I thought that was awesome because that's the whole point of OERs. It's not about to live in a shell. And that's the reason that you do them is because you want them to get out there and get shared. And so now it has a bigger audience. My, my little book for my little classroom now has a worldwide audience. You know, it's won awards now as being part of this bigger picture. That would never have happened if I kept it in isolation and said, no, this is my little thing. So getting it out there in the world is really cool. A professor in public speaking in a at a SUNY college had her students record a chapter from the book as an assignment, a public speaking assignment, and so it's being turned into podcasts. So there'll actually be an audio version of the book. He said it's supposed to come out next month. So that's pretty exciting. I mean, that's taking the book and putting it in a completely different format for in a completely different reason. Um, well, when I was looking for, back when I wrote mine, I was looking at the cost of college success textbooks, and they were like $75 or more, um, and I'm sure they haven't gotten cheaper. So, you know, this complete package being able to be, you can read it for free online, but if you want a printed one, it's only like $12, so that's pretty substantial. I think it's really exciting to see the collaboration part of it. I like the fact that on, on our own, none of us could have produced this book, but together we produced something that's getting widely accepted and winning awards and helping students, I mean, that's what it's for, and reducing costs for college. So it's pretty amazing, actually, to think about where a little idea can go, um, but only because it got blended with some other little ideas. And together, three little ideas became a big idea. And I guess I would just say that a lot of people worry about writing things because they won't be perfect. And so they don't ever try. And so the great part about OERs is there's lots of resources, there's lots of help, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, write what you need. If you need something, write it and put an OER on it and see where it goes. You know, if you, as teachers, we write things all the time anyway. We're always making curriculum. This is kind of the same thing in a different scale. So instead of just writing it as your own little lesson plan, write it bigger and make it something. Leave some institutional knowledge out there. <laughs>